Hi, Geminis. So this is going to be a bonus reading for May. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so let's see what messages the universe has for you, Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for this May bonus reading? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? All right, so we have the Page of Wands. So someone wants to talk or you may be getting some messages from someone soon. Spirit, what messages do you have? Mm, two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's just stop and talk about it. Ace of Swords. You're going to get some clarity on a situation. I feel like somebody's holding back some information from you. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as someone who's self-sufficient, self-reliant. You don't really need them, but I feel like this person wants a family with you or um, you already have a family with them and they want to make this work. But with the Two of Swords, they're at a stalemate because they feel like you have options or maybe this is your person. You feel like your person has options. But there's some clarity coming in about the situation. I don't feel like this person is wanting if they do have another option that they're dealing with i don't feel like they want to go towards this person i feel like they want to come towards you but they're keeping that other option open just in case things don't work out with you and them that's what i'm strongly picking up here but um i see messages coming in from whoever this is could be a younger fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius all right let's see where this is going Gemini's. I feel like somebody loved you, but they don't tell you because they're afraid that um, you don't feel the same way. This could be someone who hurt you in the past, and now they're trying to come back in and make things right. I feel like this person may have chosen someone over you, and now they're regretting the situation. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What do they need to know about their person and the situation, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know about their person? Mm -hmm. Fire sign, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is very prideful, very egotistical. Um, a lot of people may look up to this person with the Six of Wands. They could be in the public eye. Okay, so they expect for people to chase them to validate their self-worth. And I feel like you're not chasing this person. We also have the Seven of Swords here. So with this Seven of Swords energy, I feel like this person's being sneaky. They may be watching you to see what you're up to. I don't see the Page of Swords here yet, but I still feel like this person's watching you. It's like they have that look on their face. And this could be male or female energy. Um, all right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Um, yeah, something's not, somebody doesn't want something to be over with you. The lovers, the world reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is how this person sees you. Or you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But um, we have Gemini energy here. And we have Scorpio energy. And I'm picking up messages from Spirit that your person is doing a lot of thinking. They may even be trying to figure out what it is that they did wrong. You see how this person is looking in the mirror? I feel like they may be like really realizing what played a part in you guys separating or what they did wrong in the situation. Maybe they're ready to face it because maybe before they weren't owning up to their mistakes. And maybe this is what kept you away from this person. Maybe you're deciding that um, you didn't want to be bothered because you couldn't get over something that they did to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like this person pissed you off in some sort of way, like big time. Or like I said, they, cho they chose someone else over you, Gemini. Or it's like someone keeps running back and forth. They don't know um, who to choose here. Or it's like, it's not that, I just don't feel like it's not that they don't know who to choose. I feel like if you don't take this person back, then they're going to go towards whoever um, this other person is. That's how I'm seeing this. But they're not letting you know that, of course. They don't want you to know that. But I feel like they have someone else, but like you're their, their main person. It's like they want you. But I feel like this person don't want to 
I'm picking up the energy that your person may not want to apologize because of their pride and ego. Even though they know that they were wrong in the situation, I feel like pride and ego is what's holding this person back. Next, we have the Three of Wands here. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So they're feeling left out in the cold by you. They want you to show them more attention and affection. And I feel like you don't. Yeah, somebody's waiting for you with the Three of Wands. Um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. I feel this person gets really emotional over you when they think about how they screw this up. But they're also conflicted as well with the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. It's like they feel like you're leaving them out. This person also could have some money issues that they're dealing with that they're not telling you about. And so I feel like sometimes they get in their feelings and they start thinking about all this stuff. And then, you know, they become distant and cold and pull away from you. And then they sort of like want you to come in and, and like chase after them and ask them how they're doing, what they're, you know, how they're feeling. If they're going through something, you know, they want you to sort of like, I don't know if I want to say like baby them or pacify them or something um, is what I'm picking up on here. But I feel like somebody loves you and just don't want to come in and tell you. It's just, it's not what they normally do, but they feel like they're going to have to come out of their normal um, routine of how they deal with other people in relationships. They're going to have to deal with you different. I feel like you require it from this person. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Gemini's? Yeah, Six of Cups. This person wants a reconciliation here because they're realizing that they hurt you really bad. And this may not even be recent. This could be something that this person did to you a year ago, two years ago. And for some of you, it is recent with the Ten of Swords energy. You feel like this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. We have the Nine of Swords here. I feel like whenever you think about going towards this person, you may even um, become really guarded. Like, you know what? I don't know if this will ever work again because whatever they did, you feel like it's just something that you can't get over. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Six of Cups. You're in your head about this person though, big time, whoever this is. I feel like both of you are holding back from each other. Could be an, another air sign that you're dealing with, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius as well, Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have? For Gemini's. I'm going to get a couple more and then we're going to pull some message cards because I just see that someone's trying to come back around to you, but they're just constantly thinking, thinking and thinking like they're not making a move yet. They're not taking any action, but they're hoping that you don't reject them. So what messages do you have for Gemini's? What do they need to know? Oh yeah. Okay is definitely the king of pentacles for some of you this person is stuck like hell look at this energy um virgo taurus or a capricorn we have the hangman virgo energy the hermit and then we have the hangman pisces energy okay but um if you're not dealing with either one of those people it don't matter it's the energy not the astrological sign that really matters right um the hermit the hangman the king of pentacles they're stuck this person needs to just come out of their pride and ego, okay? Um, Just, like, fess up to what they did and apologize here. I just feel like they may have done that in the past, but you're like, no, like, I don't care if you apologize in the past. There's still something here where you're still angry with this person because of something that they did. You're like, you should have, they should have known better to treat you in that way. And you feel like it was an ultimate disrespect and they know it as well. And I feel like this is why they're in this hangman energy and this hermit energy, because they're afraid. This person is afraid to approach you um, and sort of try to get things back on track with you. They, I feel like this is someone who never stopped caring about you. And it's like, even though they walked away and did you wrong, they realized a long time ago that they made a huge mistake. But it's like they had to deal with um, their own karma and issues and drama and problems. And now that they've dealt with it, now they're ready to come back your way and sort of apologize and get things on track. But I feel like you're like, I don't even care anymore. You're uh, moving forward. I feel like your life may have changed a lot 
when this person left you and it changed a lot for the good. And so you may not even want this person back, Gemini. I don't know. I'm laughing because I'm just saying, like, I feel like whoever this person is, they're, like, so afraid to, to come towards you and approach you because they know, like... I don't know. They feel like you're either going to rip them apart or you're going to remind them of everything that happened in the past that, that they tried to, to get over. Like, you know, they tried to deal with. All right. So let's pull some uh, message cards about your person. Let's see what they're feeling and thinking. Yep. Something is brewing. Breaking point. Losing emotional strength on the verge. This person is on the verge of coming towards you. So expected, Gemini. You may not want it. You may not be ready for it. You may be like, you know what? I have other shit going on in my life. I can't give a damn. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear it. I could care less. But they're going to come towards you. And if you do care and you do want to hear it, then expect this person to come in. We have dry spell, sexual abstinence, no action in love, long time being single. Yeah, I feel like somebody that you're dealing with, male or female energy, is like you think that they have like all of these partners and things like that. But I feel like they do, they may have one person that's interested in them or something like that, or they could have several, but they really only want you. But it's like, if you don't take this person back, then it's, they feel like they have to hold on to one of those other people because they don't want to be alone. That's what I'm picking up on here. So here okay wow we have stringing along being strung along giving false hope selfish intentions this is what i feel like this person did to you in the past and this is why they don't want to face you or maybe they feel like you're going to bring that back up or something yeah we have healing Reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love, moving forward. I feel like you did a lot of work on yourself. It's like you mended your heart and now you're like, I don't know if I even want to deal with this energy again. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Gemini? What do they need to know about their person? What is their person feeling and thinking, Spirit? What is Gemini's person feeling and thinking? For some of you, I feel like you've met someone new or you're like your heart is with someone new. Maybe you love someone else now. Uh, this card just slid on the floor. Give me one second. Mm, yeah. Okay. First love. No one compares to you. First true love. New love experiences. I feel like this person is realizing that no one compares to you, but you may have new love experiences that they want, you know, since they walked away from you. Oh, yeah, this person was a player. This card just slid to the side. We have playing the field, refusing to commit, grass is greener syndrome. Whoever you guys were dealing with, they put you through a lot. I'm feeling it. I'm, like, picking up the energy. And I feel like every time you think about it, it's like, you're like, hell no. Mm -mm, I'm good. <laughs> you're like, I don't want this person back. Um, Some of you, not all of you, because some of you may want your person back. But you just want them to realize what they did wrong and apologize and mean it and be um consistent because i feel like someone was just running in and out and um they weren't valuing the connection all right this person sees the beauty they see your they see your beauty they're intimidated by it too intimidated by your beauty your beauty stands out physical attraction all right so let's get one more lessons your person has learned some lessons here love lessons learned shift in perspective raising your vibration yeah they're ready to come in and be this person that you want them to be Gemini's, but i don't know if you care anymore like i said i feel like you have other things on your mind i feel like you've leveled up since this person walked away and all types of good ass shit and <laughs> like you don't even really care but um they're coming in so expect it Gemini's okay all right so let's see what this person could say to you or would say to you um if they weren't in their pride and their ego because definitely whoever you guys are dealing with they're very prideful that's why I feel like it was like an earth sign a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn or a, a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius spirit what would Gemini person say to them if they wasn't in their pride and ego spirit what would Gemini's person say to them if they wasn't in their pride and ego all 
All right, so we have my financial situation is not stable enough for me to walk away from them. And I'm afraid to tell you this. So some of you could be dealing with someone who's married or in another committed situation and they want to come towards you, but they don't feel like they have the finances to like be able to support themselves. And so they, I feel like someone may be working on their money behind the scenes. All right, so we have, you are both being stubborn, but wanting to text each other. You're thinking holding back will make them act right. We also have, they typed up a whole text message to you and never sent it because of fear you will reject them and not respond. It seems like you're using me because you only come around when you want sex if you want more than if you want more then show me because i'm losing faith in this all right so we have i'm sorry for everything i did and said i don't like arguing with you it makes me feel depressed when we are not on good terms yeah we have all we do is argue when all i want to do is love you but you keep bringing up the past will you ever be able to get over what i did so we can move forward and we have, if you can hang on and let me figure this out, I promise you I will fix this and we will be together. Just have faith in us, please. Wow, somebody really wants this connection back. You claim you're single, but I can only talk to you during the day. You're never available at night. Why is that? So this may be something that you want to ask this person, Gemini. And let's get one more. You don't have to chase this person. They will always come back to you. They're your twin flame, okay? Um, so yeah, those are the bonus messages that I have for your reading, Gemini. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Christ Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.